Hi everyone. Now we are going to discuss about symbiotics. Symbiotics are going to be the appropriate combination of probiotics and prebiotics. We have discussed about the prebiotics and probiotics in detail in different videos. So you can go through them. And now coming to the symbiotic. Research assessing the connection between the two, that means the prebiotics and the probiotics is ongoing and the scientists cannot yet confirm whether taking prebiotics can support probiotic development but it is important to remember that pro and pre, that is probiotics and prebiotics work together synergistically. And here the concept of symbiotics has been proposed to characterize health enhancing foods and supplements used as functional food ingredients in humans because the prebiotics are active in the large intestine and the probiotics are mainly active in the small intestine. So scientifically it is important to combine both the prebiotics and probiotics to achieve a synergistic effect in vivo that is in the gut. So coming to the definition of the symbiotic, a symbiotic has been defined as a mixture of prebiotics and probiotics that beneficially affects the host by improving the survival and implantation of live microbial dietary supplements where in the gastrointestinal tract by selectively stimulating the growth and activating the metabolism of one or or limited number of health promoting bacteria and thus improving the host welfare. And here as I told you we are going to have a potential synergy between the probiotics and the prebiotics. So here is the best example that is going to call as a symbiotic a combination of a bifidobacterium which is a probiotic and a fructo oligosaccharide which is a prebiotic. So here you can see the bioemission company is going to produce a supernant symbiotic, a combination of probiotic and the prebiotic. Then moving to the functions of this symbiotic. So as I told you it's a combination of probiotic plus prebiotic gives rise to the symbiotic. So symbiotic is going to be useful in preventing the diarrhea and constipation, then improve the skin condition, improves digestion, it is involved in the prevention of seasonal infectious diseases and then it is also improves the absorption of vitamins and trace elements, normalizes the intestinal microflora and it is involved in destroying the pathogens especially not allowing them to grow and then obviously finally strengthening the immunity. So the functions of symbiotic is going to be the combination of functions of both the probiotics and the prebiotics. Then moving to the symbiotic food combinations. So here are the certain combinations where you can prepare by yourself also. Like the yogurt and the honey or kefir and the honey is going to be a symbiotic. Yogurt is a probiotic and honey is going to be of a prebiotic. In the same manner, you can have a yogurt or kefir and honey and acacia gum, beans and pickles, then yogurt, sour cream. So pickle is going to be again a probiotic. Yogurt, sour cream or kefir with garlic, feta cheese and onions, yogurt with oats, green salt with garlic and sour cream, kombucha with chia seeds and then kombucha with acacia gum. Yogurt or kefir with acacia gum and honey. Yogurt or kefir with chia seeds and acacia gum and the honey. So here are the certain food combinations of symbiotics. So here you can see this yogurt is going to pass it with yakhan. So it is going to be a symbiotic. And here also it's a symbiotic drink that is going to have strawberry flavor and a mango flavor. Okay. Then coming to the health benefits of symbiotics. The symbiotics are going to be involved in improving the survival of live bacteria in food products and they are also increasing the prolonged shelf life of this useful bacteria. 
then they are going to increase the number of ingested bacteria reaching the colon in a viable form. So that means they are not going to expose these uh, useful bacteria to the stomach gases and the other enzymes. Then coming to the stimulation in the colon of the growth and implantation of both exogenous and endogenous bacteria. Then they are going to activate the metabolism of beneficial bacteria and that's how showing some antagonistic activity towards the pathogenic bacteria. That means they are not allowing the pathogenic bacteria to grow in their presence. Then they will increase the levels of lactobacilli and bifidobacterium and balance the gut microbiota. Not only that, they are also involved in improving the liver function in kirkotic patients. They are also involved in improving the immunomodulating ability, involved in prevention of bacterial translocation and reduces incidence of uh, uh, nosocomial infections in the surgical patients. So these are the certain health benefits of synbiotics. Then here, just have a glance of the differences between the probiotics, prebiotics, and synbiotics. We had a detailed description of uh, differences between the probiotics and prebiotics in the other video. You can go through it. So here, I just want to have a glance of the differences between these three, that is probiotics, prebiotics. So as we know, the probiotics are the live microbial food supplement having beneficial effects on host through the microbial action. Then what is a uh, prebiotic? It's a non-digestible food ingredient stimulating the available microbes in the colon resulting beneficial effects. Then what is a symbiotic? Is a combination of these two. Then the probiotics are going to be non-pathogenic, non-toxic, capable of surviving in the gut and should contain a large number of viable cells. Then coming to the prebiotics, as we know, these are non digestible food. So they uh, should not be hydrolyzed or not absorbed in the upper part of gastrointestinal tract, that is stomach and the small intestine. Then where they have to be digested means obviously in the large intestine. Then symbiotic is going to be the combination of these both. That is, they should have the capability of increasing the survival chances of probiotics. Then coming to the probiotics, this should control various postulated health advantages like improved digestion, anti-cancerous, lactose intolerance, and various nutritional benefits. Then coming to the prebiotics, they should be able uh, as a consequence to alter the colonic microflora towards a healthier composition. Then coming to the symbiotics shows a synergistic effect. That means a combination of these two. As probiotics acts in the small intestine, as prebiotics they are going to act in the large intestine. So symbiotics acts as symbiosis or synergistically in vivo, that is especially in the gut. So this is all about the symbiotics. So we had discussed about the symbiotic introduction and its definition, then we had gone with the functions, then the combinations, that is food combinations of the symbiotic and then health benefits of it. Okay, and a, just uh, a difference, a brief differences between the pro, pre and the symbiotics. I hope you understood well. Thank you.